It's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine. Greetings and thanks for ending your Monday on 2K Sports with some NBA hoops. Brian Anderson here with me, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. A look at the 76ers starting group. They've got Joel Embiid. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. Then there's Tobias Harris. And it's prime time in a power forward. And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Here we go. And it's the Sixers to start out. Now here's Maxie. From 11 feet away, jump shot is good. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Inside. Drops in the layup for two. Setting an aggressive tone early, challenging the heart of that defense. Pass to Harris. Here's prime time. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Embiid's got space. Count it. One for one to start the game. In the mid-range, Embiid is pretty confident. He goes right up and drains that jump shot with ease. Pounded by Harris. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Pounded by Harris. The rebound by Maxi. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of three from the floor. Pass to Harris. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Puts it up from 12. Three-pointer, Harden. Doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. And Harden, a former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. And the first one at the line is good. When you think of the 76ers, Richard, they've had so many Hall of Fame players. Allen Iverson sticks out to me. Growing up, I loved watching AI play. And then when I entered into the league, I was competing against them. If you grew up in the 90s or 2000s, AI was the guy that just kind of changed everything for you. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Thibel, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. That gives him the lead. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. Here's prime time. And another miss by Philadelphia. To the middle. Uses the glass on the layup. Six points for him. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Dybal on the wing. Back to Maxi. Pass to prime time. Back to Maxi. Here's Thibel. And the three off target. Going three of four. Off to a nice start. Oh, they get a hand on it. Fast break, Philadelphia. Oh, okay, oh, look wow. out. Man. Wow. And that one is hammered home. <laughs> you can hurt yourself with moves like that. <laughs> it's worth it if you can pull it off, though. 
Oh, he went full peacock mode there. Lane. Look, you know what they say. When you got it, you got to flaunt it. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Five on the clock. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. There's the three. It doesn't go for him. Covered by Theibel. And he lobs it up. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Horrible mistake right there. You hate to see unforced turnovers like that. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Harden. Left side, Maxi. And he hits it to tie the game. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Harden with it. Here's prime time. So they take the lead. Shot's and good. a closer look here at the hustle stats for Philadelphia. Shot's good. Hit. Shooting one. And that one misses. Fires for three. Count it. One for one to start the game. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. 116 left in the first. Outside Harden. Now here's Maxi. He's closely guarded. 11 feet out. And he can't get that one. Gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. Covered by Thibel. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. The first one falls. Milton's checked in for Thibel. Good on both. Some big guys struggle at the line. Not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Outside Harden. Left side Maxi. Over to the left wing. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. There is no one better at drawing fouls than James Harden. It can be frustrating for a defender. It's an art that he has mastered. That free throw misses. And he sinks the second. 35 seconds left in the first quarter here. I got yours, I got yours. Defended by Harden. Out left to the wing. There's 21 seconds left now in the first quarter. Shot clock at five. Drops in the three. He's got six. Here's prime time. Can't connect from short range. From deep. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so the first quarter is in the books so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified some weaknesses, and they are exploiting them. Taking a look at Philadelphia. They've got Tyrese Maxey. He's out there with James Harden. Tobias Harris out there with Joel Embiid. And it's prime time in at the power forward position. Now Harden. To the inside. Embiid. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. No stopping Embiid inside. He is a beast. Oh, 
to the paint. And he makes it on the layup. Saw the angles and led him right to the hoop with that pass. And for the 76ers, they're shooting 46%, a decent average so far. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Brian Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Julius Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys? <laughs> All right, thanks, Allie. All right, Richard, I was looking over your accomplishments, doing a little extra prep on you. An NBA title with the Cavs, a state title in high school, and almost won it all in college in Arizona. Is that the one what if in your career? Oh, no. Thank you for bringing those up. But, uh, yeah, I have tons of what ifs. I have, you know, obviously the college championship. I also got Athens in 04. And look, just for giggles, I also like to talk about the two times I lost in the NBA Finals going against Shaq and Kobe, then Tim Duncan, David Robinson, and Manu Ginobili. But the funny thing is, it's not like they didn't have Hall of Fame head coaches. It was only Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich. So, you know, I've run into a few buzz saws in my day. Clock at six, and it's Harris with the rebound. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Harden, the pass to Maxi, goes up on the baseline. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got four assists in the game. Don't you forget, Harden's won the assist title now. This man can pass that rock. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And he makes a first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The 76ers have gone three of three to begin the second. Outside Harden. Right side Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. A scoring machine. There's just no shot and beads and afraid to take. And he can't hit the second. It's not often you see him fail to deliver at the line like this. Three-pointer off the mark. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Embiid covers. On target from about 13 feet. Six points for him. Found some space to get off the mid-range, and he'll do damage from there if you let him. And the 76ers call time here. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Pass to Harden. Here's prime time. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got five assists tonight. He saw a path to the rim, and he took it. The defense just couldn't stop him. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Oh, swiped away. Fast break, Philadelphia. He goes up, and he goes in for the dunk. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point in the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. An important two points, not just on the scoreboard, but also for a little bit of momentum. So it's the home team now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Defended by Harden, and the officials will call the illegal screen here. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective, taking it right to the defense. 
Pass to Harris. Back to Harden. Six to shoot. Gone four for six here on the second. Fires the three. Joel Embiid with the board. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Who poked away. And so it looks like the Sixers will retain possession here. There's a minute 34 left in the first half. Great positioning on the putback. It's all knotted up. And how about that reach of Embiid using those long arms to just gobble up second chance opportunities? Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's on Joel Embiid. Man, good whistle there. And he drops the first. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. For Philadelphia, they've gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. Outside Harden. Pass to primetime. Five to shoot. Here's Harden. Misses the step back jumper. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid range. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. The steal. Launches a three. Gets the three ball to go. Seven points in the game. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The first free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. gone three of six from deep so far shots blocked pass to Embiid it's blocked with one on the clock what a play he drains it at the buzzer Great job ending the quarter on a high note. That's the play that pump. Guys get That's trucked three. all the time, and they still Stick call a blocking foul. You think more of those should be no calls, Grant? You know, B.A., courage is the right word. If you're willing to step in there and sacrifice your body for the sake of the team, you know what? If you don't give them a charge, I prefer the no call. I like that idea. Got a piece of it. And they're pushing it up. That one is off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Embiid passes to Harden. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Defense should expect this from Harden. He rarely misses a chance to draw a shooting foul. And he knocks down the first one. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. And Harden is capable of getting you a triple-double every game. His versatility is incredible. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That one on Harris. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. The 76ers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Harden. Throws it up high. The pass, the catch, the slam. 
What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. The 76ers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays. And his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. 18 feet out. The rebound by Maxi. Maxi's got four rebounds now. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Good timeout if you ask me. They have the momentum, and Coach wants to find a way to try and stop it. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for the Sixers. Milton comes in for James Harden. Milton with a steal. Out to the right wing. To the paint. Prime time. That one's good. This game is all even. 18 points for him. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Deflected. They retain possession. That one goes in. Here's prime time. 18 points for him. Inside. Here's Harold. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. A quick leaper with a solid frame. Harold gives opponents problems around the rim. Maxi covering. Some solid defense from Maxi. The 76ers have gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. And there's the rejection. He got a piece of it. Outside Milton. For the lead. That puts him in the lead. Maxi's got four points in the quarter. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the 76ers. From behind the arc. Gets the three to fall. Here in the second half, these teams still neck and neck. I really like how each team is matching the other's intensity. Outside Milton. Can't get it to fall. That's just the bucket look, you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss them. Pounded by Harris. Free throw line jumper. They get it back. Second chance effort. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First one falls for him. And he makes both free throws. The 76ers have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Here's prime time. The quick look, no good that time. Gone 4 of 8 from 3. A nice percentage. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter here. Shot clock at 6. Pounded by Harris. Second chance shot. It's rebounded by Primetime. For three. That one doesn't drop. From deep three-point range. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision.
And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Outside Harden. Right side Maxi. With a step back. Good on the shot. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. And for the 76ers, James Harden out there with Maxi. Then there's Tobias Harris. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's prime time in at the four. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. To the left side wing. Pass to Embiid. Corner shot. Yep, right through the net. Look, and he knows he has the green light. Embiid's kind of the attitude in these moments just makes him even more lethal. And for Philadelphia, Maxi out there with James Harden. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's Tobias Harris. And it's prime time in at the four-man spot. The Sixers trailing. It's picked off. To the inside. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. And Philadelphia time out, time out. calls time here. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard Doc Rivers as he talked with the team. He told them, quote, if we'd worked harder on the glass, we'd probably be up right now. Show some heart. Show some pride. It was a very direct message. Back to you guys. Appreciate the report, Ali. Harris outside. Now here's Embiid. Tight defense on him. Clock at four. Three-pointer. Harden. No good that time. Gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. Melton covers. Off the mark there with a three. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Harris on the wing. Blocked! They get it back. Yeah, Embiid just terrorizes defenses on the inside. Good luck guarding the big fella. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Boy, this lead is razor thin. Yeah, B.A., and there's a chance to extend that right here. Melton covers. The teardrop, and that's two points on the layup. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Now here's Harden, tightly guarded, and the basket is good. No problem for Harden scoring under pressure. To the middle. Oh, oh my hey, goodness, how wow. about that? And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. And no doubt the ball is going to go to Embiid there. Needing a bucket, and he gets it. The free throw drops for Embiid. Gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. And he 
he's going for the oop here. And an emphatic jam on the lob. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. To the wing on the left. Pass to Melton. Back to Harden. Knocked loose. Defended by Harden. Inside. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. <laughs> and guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans. And it motivates him to always give them his very best. Here's prime time. And they recover it. Embiid gets the bucket. Embiid's got 11 in the second half. Gone 7 of 8 in this fourth quarter. Sends it home from three-point land. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch. Because that's who's going to come away with this one. Nice touch on both ends of that alley. -oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here, and it's an eight-point ball game. And for the 76ers, they're shooting 55% for the game so far. There's the drive. And that one good. 20 points for him. Man, he's on fire. Playing patient basketball, not forcing shots. One fourteen left to play in the fourth quarter. To the right side. Pounded by Harris. Four on the clock. Oh, had a nice open look right there. Smart decision to kick it out to another guy once the defense is fixated on him in the paint. Here's prime time. Harris outside. For three, Maxi Got a hand on it. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so it looks like the Sixers will retain possession here. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. That's fine. You love the effort not making things easy for the opposition on offense. Off the inbound. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Just a beautiful job of scanning the floor, finding the open man. Harris looking to involve his teammates. And Maxi over to help. Uncovered. Jump shot is good that time. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Almost converts despite the contact. And so he hits both. Twenty seven seconds left in the game. 
And so they foul intentionally. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And so both free throws good. And it's an eight-point ball game. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Yeah, they got to be disappointed with this result. And count it. The shot is That's good, good, and he'll go to the line. Woo, how sick Three was one. that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. seconds left in the fourth quarter and they go to the intentional foul he hits the first one and that increases the lead to six so he gets them both and it's a seven point game taking full advantage of his opportunities at the line to extend their lead and the 76ers call time here. They trail by seven. 19 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? Trying to extend this one, but it seems futile. With timeouts, it's use them or lose them. So why not go down fighting? Here's Embiid. Off the inbound. Harold. He connects! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Yeah, terrific execution by Harrell. He collects the rebound and immediately goes after a shot of his own. Two shots. He gets the first. And that increases the lead to six. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a seven-point game. For three, Maxi. And he sinks it. And now they trail by just four. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Cool, calm, and collected. Say that three times fast. He makes them all and puts this game away. Dybul on the wing. Here's prime time. Misses there. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves, but at the end of the